All right, it's about uh, maybe 30 minutes after I made my last video and uh, lightning and thunder started getting pretty close. So Ken and I both made it to our tents and now it is raining and uh, we've seen some lightning and you heard the thunder immediately after so the storm's pretty close. So just sitting in here in the tent staying dry. I'll give you a little view of my accommodations here. All right, I got my sleeping bag. This is my air mattress here. Ugh. Just enough room to get around. My sleeping bag. And my pillow. I keep my bear spray with me here. Even though we're out of bear country, it's still a good deterrent if someone to come into the tent I guess <laughs> I just figured it would be good for that anyway it's kind of a little self-defense um, my toiletry kit I don't get to shower every day I like to use this powder to say well, there you go anti anti monkey butt it's called but it's nice anti friction I'm not getting very good uh, focus here because it's kind of dark but I put a little bit of this on my bottom side every day and baby wipes for a little cleanup when I can't hit the shower my headlamp but just hoping that it's is just a small squall going through we've gotten rained on pretty much the last couple of nights the tents haven't really had a chance to, to uh, dry out this morning we, um, I'm gonna turn around this way. We got uh, started a little bit late, which was okay. We had plenty of time. There we go. Feet out, relax. Yeah. Not bad. But we uh, set our tents and uh, rain flies and ground covers out to dry because they hadn't dried for a couple of days. But my biggest concern in this neck of the woods is that a storm like this would turn into a tornado or even not a tornado but high force winds. I have no idea how a tent would do in a high force winds. You can see it's pushing the rain fly quite a bit here. And hail is another thing. I have no idea how the tent will hold up to some hail. A couple of bugs inside of here. But, this is all part of the adventure. Keep my boots in the vest, vestibule here. I, my tent has nice vestibule on both sides. So I bring my dry bag, I put my rain, or my riding suit in there. I got my seat cover, my tank bag, all that's on this side. So try to keep all that stuff dry. Oh, the wind is really whipping up now. Really hearing it. But we talked to a lady in the restaurant before we uh, headed over here, which is only a half a mile from where we're at. And she showed us the radar weather. It didn't look like it was supposed to be a big storm, but you can never predict these things. So let's see if we can take a look outside, see what it looks like. see what we got out here and right now it's just looking like rain the sky is looking pretty dark still it's not coming down too hard let me get back inside so I stay dry there we go tend to stake down, but uh, I mean, they're not very big stakes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a good time. Better to be inside the tent than on the road. Uh, but who knows what the heck's gonna happen. 
and uh, hopefully my tent stays dry. I did do some seam repair on it when I was in Anchorage. It's been working pretty good. Biggest issue I seem to have lately is when the ground gets wet. Uh, I think my ground cover I have underneath the tent it isn't working as good as it used to. I should probably do a uh, treatment on that of some sort. Ooh, there's some lightning. I can see it outside. Okay. There it is. Lightning and the thunder's right behind it. So it was actually a little bit closer right before I started the video. And uh, right before I started the video, it was raining considerably harder than it is right now. So welcome to my my nightly lodging for the majority of this trip. Hope you enjoyed it.